Yep, yeah, so I'm stuck. It's muddy. Hey, our lawnmower guy's here. Really? We've never seen a lawnmower guy ever. We're always at work. That's so funny. Ooh. I love white shirts, but I get them dirty so quickly. So, I need to change shirts. All right, so you guys obviously know I like light bars. I have light bars on all my vehicles, all my toys. And the light bars I use are from Oxbeam Lighting. They're the ones I use on the Miata headlights and the light bar on my truck. So, they basically sent me some more stuff that I am excited to install. I have um, the high and low beams, um, sorry, bulbs for my truck. And these are basically LED conversion kits. So these are gonna go on and basically it's gonna be a lot brighter and um, a lot more basically efficient than um, the stock light bulbs. And right away these are super high quality and they're all one contained system and basically just straight plug and play. Unplug the old bulbs, put the new one in. So I'm pretty excited to get these installed and uh, light up the road a lot better in my truck. So I'm pretty happy about that. They sent me the high and low beam from uh, Ox Oxbeam Lighting. Pretty dope. And then um, more light bars. I got this nice small light bar that I plan on putting in the bed of my truck to light up the back uh, when loading up the bikes or just using anything, uh, using the back of the truck bed. And then I got this bad boy. And this is what I'm really excited to install. Somewhere, somehow, this is gonna go on the Miata. And what this is, is this is a normal light bar, but it's also all different colored LEDs and it's controlled um, via Bluetooth through the uh, free app. So I can control the color of the light bar and what it does and everything through my phone. So I will talk to you guys more about these light bars when I get to them, but first things first, I'm gonna install the LED lights. Yeah, that's five minute install. Yeah. <laughs> the stock light pull button plugs <laughs> and the whole new one just plugs right in. That's so easy. Wow, that's really easy. And that's it. Plugged in, installed. So one done. Let me show you. So basically, that's the power source right there, and it's all plugged in. So what I did here is I just removed the air box, so they get a little bit more room to access the uh, headlight bulbs. And just using a little flathead and just prying up the light bulbs. Be careful not to touch them in case you ever want to reuse them again or in case these break, you can just plug the old ones back in. I'm probably gonna keep these in a baggie inside my truck in case I ever have a headlight go out. So the old uh, uh, light bulbs have a little plug in like that. That's what it looks like. This is what this one looks like. It's the same, just plug them right in, real simple. And low beam's done. I mean, guys, that literally took me like like maybe three minutes to do both sides. Um, Oxbeam did a really good job making these plug and play. So I'm gonna do the high beams real quick while I have access to them. All right, guys, so here's what the right side looks like with the top and bottom high and low beam installed. And there's the uh, power source all zip tied together. So I'm gonna tuck these nice and clean out of the way and uh, shut, the, shut, the, shut the hood, put the air box back on. Or actually, put the air box back on Shut the hood and uh, yeah, we'll test them out. So I'm here working on the truck. It's about like an hour and a half after work and me and my roommate got off at the same time. He took the KTM to work and he just rolled in just now. And he left the same time I did. Uh, he got a flat tire. That sucks. But yeah, I rode all the way home on the sidewalk with a flat tire. Pretty funny. Okay, really trusting my camera on this new tripod balancing right now. But uh, okay, so high beam, low beam installed. I haven't turned them on yet. I'm gonna turn them on right now. Hopefully they come on, hopefully everything works. And uh, they might not be super bright because it's daytime, but I will definitely get some night footage tonight. So let me zoom in a little bit. Perfect. Wow, pretty bright. So I don't know if the camera's focusing. That's the high and low beam both on. 
That's the high beam. That's the low beam. So I know this isn't the best test footage, but they look really fucking good. Please take my word for it. But you don't have to, because tonight I think we're actually going to do a little bit of mudding. A little bit of mudding, because this is a two-wheel drive truck, and my daily, I don't want to beat on it. But um, a couple of my buddies want to go to their trucks. But anyway, back to the lights. Um, I installed these aux beam LED headlight kits on a 07 uh, uh, GMC Sierra 1500 plug and play kit. And I believe all their kits are plug and play. Very easy, very simple to install. Highly recommend them. But uh, we'll see tonight when we go out, uh, out and mudding. So again, here's the kit. There you go right there. And like always, I will put a link in the description to where you can find these and the light bar. So uh, next, let's move on to the light bar. Maybe, it might be another video, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I really like them. They came out really, really good. Ooh, looking good, the light bar. Damn. Damn, it looks good. I already had that light bar installed. That's one I've gotten out for a long time ago. It's not the new one I have. I think it's dark enough to test my new lights. So let me try and give them a little test. They're fucking bright. <laughs> Damn, that's bright. That looks really fucking good. Put the high beams on though. Gonna need these if we're playing off road, just in case, you never know. So I just got to the meet of spot where we're meeting to go mudding. And I just want to show you guys the lights because it's actually pretty bright out, or it's pretty dark out now. That's what they look like. They look fucking good. So those are the typical running lights that normal driving lights on. No high beams, no light bar. Came out really good. Hey right, Andrew. Oh, that's truck, sir. Everyone has light bars but me. Uh. Four wheel drive, four wheel drive, not four wheel drive. All right, so we just got to the mud spot. So it's starting in the rain. Is this it? I think it's good. Oh, God, hold on, we'll get some stock. Can you film outside? What? Film outside? Oh, it's muddy as fuck. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> All right, I'm making Andrew go first. Hope you guys can see me. Doesn't look that bad. I could probably make that. There we go. <laughs> Dope. How's it looking on camera? I don't know. Two wheel drive truck stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! No! It's okay, it's okay. No! I'm stuck! Uh. I'm stuck! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> stuck! <laughs> I wanna get out, let me see that camera. I wanna get out. Yep, so I'm stuck. It's muddy. That tire's not bad. That one's stuck pretty bad. Good thing I bought these. <laughs> Damn two wheel drive trucks. What do you mean? Yep, I need four wheel drive. It's a little muddy. It's <laughs> a little muddy. Alright, we just got done mudding. The gas station checking out how dirty the cars and the trucks. Wow, oh, they look good.
No. No. Drift for drifts. Looks good. <laughs> A drifter right there. So yeah, that's probably it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, shout out to Oxbeam Lighting for the LED light lights, and I'll put a link in the description below. Later. Now that's a Jeep. Look at that thing. Man, it's way too clean though. Jeeps are supposed to be muddy. <laughs>